What up, everybody? This is Knife Life 777. I got a new knife in today from Amazon, of course. Um, I haven't even opened the package yet. Uh, I wanted to save it for you guys. This is a knife that, brand that I've never heard of. Um, I don't remember seeing anything about it anywhere online um i'm not sure if there's anything on youtube uh with this particular knife i'm not sure i didn't check but um i don't remember seeing anything about this brand uh so i'm gonna share it with you guys see what you guys think um it looks pretty cool um, I'm hoping that it's uh, decent quality. It was pretty cheap. So, all right, I'm opening my packaging with my Schrade SCHF 66. I've had this for a while. I put a little uh, forced patina on there. You can't really see it because it's stainless, but it's on there. I mean, I could see it. Oh, there we go. See that? See the, uh, and you can see it in just a perfect way. I don't know. There we go. See that? Looks cool. It looks cool in person. Anyway, here we go. Well, Shrade is sharp. You know what? I really like Shrade. Um, they got some good stuff for good prices. I mean, that's my opinion. Um, and like, they got really some really cool looking stuff. I re I really like Shrade. Um, I want to get into their fixed blades. I'm gonna be ordering some here soon, and we'll be sharing them with you guys. And the Throw this over there with all my other packaging. I have a whole freaking bin full of empty Amazon packaging. It's insane. I haven't seen a uh, Prime Amazon Prime membership charge in a long time. I think they're just giving it to me for free for how much freaking stuff I order. Wouldn't that be something? All right. Here we go. Thing. Just basically thanking you for buying their knife, uh, safe usage, and cleaning. Nice foam on top. Packaged nicely. I'm pretty sure this is a Chinese made brand. Foam on the bottom. Nice packaging. I like it. I bought, there was uh, two colors, the black G10 and the blue G10. I always buy black, so I figured I'd switch it up and buy some blue G10 this time. And for a second, I thought it was fully sealed in the plastic. Uh -huh. Look at that, guys. Wow. This is really nice. Let me give it the old wipe down real quick, cause I don't like I don't like having um, oil all over my handle or yeah my uh, handle. I don't like having the oil all over the G10. Nobody likes an oily G10, says I. Oh, um, I always clean my G10 with Novus. Plastic clean and shine uh, mix here. Um, what I prefer is Plexus plastic cleaner. This stuff is freaking awesome. Um, it cleans the G10 so nicely, and it gives it like a little bit of a grippy, uh, grippy kind of texture. It is freaking awesome, but it's expensive. 
So, um, I found this the other day, well, the other week on Amazon. Um, it was like five bucks, and this works pretty good too, you know? It, it works almost as good, but it just doesn't give it that super grippy feeling, you know? Alright, so this is... Hold on here. Oh, jeez. This is the QSP QS110 Nokomi knife. N O K O M I S. Nokomi. Or Nokomis. I'm not sure. Check that out. And guess what? Frame lock. Go figure. It's like frame lock season lately. Um. G10 on this side, obviously. Let's see what else we got here. Deep pocket carry clip, although it doesn't look like it's going to be so deep in your pocket. You got like a freaking half inch sticking out here. Um, blade length, 9.1 centimeter. Handle length, 1 or 11.5 centimeter. Blade thickness. Three millimeters. That's a pretty thick blade, actually. Um, net weight, 139 grams. Um, I ordered my own scale. Uh, it's coming in the mail. It should be here tomorrow so that I can weigh these out for you guys um, so that you can see for yourself what they actually weigh instead of taking the manufacturer's word for it. I know especially the Chinese manufacturers aren't always super reliable and they don't always quite tell the exact truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So um, <clears throat> that's kind of a uh, gamble uh, with the Chinese knives, you know. It's kind of, you just kind of take everything with a grain of salt, you know. Uh, excuse me, guys. Um, all right, so before we uh, get any further looking at the knife here, we, um, I'm gonna, you know, just measure it my damn self just to make sure so you guys can see. I don't know why. But I gotta get this freaking light out of here. Here we go. Alright, so we have a three and three quarters. There we go. Three and three quarters blade. or 3.75 the full length is 8 inches on the dot um, handle length about 4.5 inches about um, now let's take a look at the knife uh, So we got some uh, stainless hardware, lanyard hole, <clears throat> we got uh, dual thumb studs, we have a single position po pocket clip, deep carry, um, it's one of those where it, there's a little notch cut out and when you, when you take or when you put it in it goes down into the notch, um, that way it doesn't it's not moving everywhere, even if the sc screws aren't super tight. I'm on the top of the blade here. We have some jimping. Oh, that is super grippy. Oh, jeez, a little bit sharp. I kind, you know, I kind of dug my finger in it just to get the feel of it. But yeah, that is super freaking grippy. I like it. Um. Got some jimping on the frame lock here. You see uh, copper washers built in for built in smooth opening. Nice, nicely done. Um, it's not brass, but. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. Sorry, I'm checking this out, seeing if we can get any more info. Oh yeah, Blade Steel. <sighs> hmm, I wonder what it is. 8 CR 13 MOV is what it says on the web on Amazon, but on the blade it says 8 CR 14 MOV. So which one is it, guys? Which one is it? I don't know, and I don't think we will know. And I'm not sending anything out to be tested at this point. I mean, I haven't gotten that aggressive. Um, so yeah, um, I like the blade shape. I don't know what what you would call this uh, worn cliff, I think, or uh, modified sheep's foot. I don't know, honestly. Um, but I like it. Uh, seems kind of sharp. I'm going to check it out. It says 8CR14 MOV. MNG. MNKG1. I don't know what that is, but. Not bad. Could use a little oil and a break in. Damn, that's a long blade. It just it just feels long. I think it's Yeah, yeah, it's pretty long. Um it feels longer because of how skinny it is. Alright. <clears throat> Enough of me. Babbling on, Babylon. Let's uh, let's see how she cuts. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Not bad, not bad. I like you. I'm gonna uh Still take it over <clears throat> once or twice with the ceramic rod and uh, put it on the strop for optimal performance. Give her the old knife oil change, if you know what I mean. Hourglass standoffs. Pretty standard. No backspacer. I don't, you know, I just really love a, a nice full size or a decent sized backspacer, you know? It just, just just looks so much better. But, anyway. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, I will leave a link in the description in case you guys are interested. Um, I'm going to carry it for a few days. <clears throat> and uh, see how she goes. Um... This is the QSP, QS110, 8CR13 or 14, MOV, whatever, uh, I guess it's whatever uh, you, you uh, like best, you just pick and choose, whatever, you, whatever is your lucky number, you just, that's what it is. Um, oh, one more thing, I'm gonna, before I end the video... It is Torx fit, so we got here, we got a 7. I always like to go for the 7 first. That's my favorite. Mm. T6 Torx fit for the, uh, for the liner screws. Um, the pivot screw. Huh. is an eight. There you go. Hope you liked the video. Leave a thumbs up and all that good stuff if you if you want to, you know. I'm not not gonna twist anybody's arm over it. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you on the next one. I got a bunch of stuff on the way.
So keep your eyes out. I got some really cool stuff coming. Thank you and goodbye.